That's right. And, you know, it's a little bit of a chilly start out there. Uh, out here, I should say, we're live at the NAS Kingsville, and uh, we have a lot of coats. We have some warm coffee, temperatures in the 50s and 60s across the area. So let's go ahead and get right to it, folks. Let's go ahead and take a live look over into the uh, Rockport area where temperatures are holding on to the middle 60s right now and an easterly wind at 10 miles per hour. And uh, again, over in beautiful Rockport, looking pretty good across the area this morning. So let's get to the weather headlines of the day. As I mentioned, that cool start, we have those 50s and 60s. We had a little bit of cloud coverage earlier this morning, but a lot of that broke out uh, as the uh, morning has progressed. And we will see more wind later on this uh, afternoon. And again, that's still going to lead to some high to very high fire danger across the region. So no sparks, flames, that sort of thing. Anything that we can do uh, to keep the uh, fire folks uh, from having to battle another blaze is certainly going to help. Officially out at the airport, we're at 63 degrees. Over at the uh, CCNAS, we're at 67 as well. Rockport holding on to the middle 60s. And over here in Kingsville, no wonder it's 51 degrees out here with calm conditions. And off into Ropstown, we're holding on to 59 degrees. So here is the hourly forecast for today as temperatures get into the lower 80s across the region. But notice those southeasterly winds picking up around midday all the way to about 7 p.m. We'll be looking at those sustained southeasterly winds around 15 to 25. So here's a more specific look at it so you can get a better detailed look. The uh, wind is going to be dominating out of the southeast today, so that means more humidity will be coming in across the area as well. The marine forecast with that extra wind, especially along the coastline, is going to make the base choppy. The seas four to six feet. Feet and that rip current risk, folks, is still moderate to high, and uh, we still have advisories for the offshore waters. You can see the morning cloud coverage has cleared out, but there is still going to be more of that later on for today. Uh, but overall, it's pretty quiet across the Lone Star State. A couple of frontal boundaries up to the north. Look at that. Still cold temperatures up in the central and northern plains. And as we take a look at the uh, first little disturbance that's moving on by there, high pressure takes control, so we'll still hold on to mainly dry conditions. And then we have another frontal boundary that will push into the region as we head into early next week and as that happens uh, that's going to present our next opportunity to get some isolated showers in the forecast with that little upper level disturbance that moves up into North Texas. It's not a great chance but again we're going to be on the tail end of that activity and it presents us that small opportunity for a few showers. So let's look at it here on the long range future tracker. We get one little front that comes in kind of breaks apart could see a few little sprinkles tomorrow morning associated with it but not so much. Uh, but then after that, we just hold on to a couple of more clouds, and then there you have it. On Monday, we get a few isolated showers, and then once the front comes in, we're going to start to clear right on out. So as we take a look at the full seven-day forecast, even with these frontal boundaries coming in, we're going to hold on to the 80s. The weekend is not looking bad. Uh, we'll have uh, partly to mainly cloudy skies, and then on Monday, we look at those isolated showers with that front, but notice those temperatures still holding on to the upper 80s to lower 90s across the area. So that's the latest uh, look we have out here. Again, it's chilly, so bundle up this morning. I'll send it over to uh, Paula.